Glentor and Met City rivals Linfield in Friday night's under-17 clash at Seaview with both sides unusually positioned in mid-table. The Glens fashioned the first real chance of note. Jordan are both not snapshot drifting just wide of the Blues goal. Down at the other end, Linfield almost capitalised on some sloppy Glentoran defending. Sean Green's cross seized upon by Jonah Mitchell. Again though, the effort just off target. Linfield were edging the opening half at this stage. Eamon Scannell won a free kick taken down by Glentoran's Lewis Harrison. Mitchell's free kick though, out of reach of both Joel Hanna and Pierce Tate. Linfield almost broke the deadlock with 20 minutes played. Nathan Fox's pass cushioned down by Tate. Joel Hanna's half volley came back off the foot of the Glentoran post. Tate fired the rebound over the bar. After soaking up some concerted Blues pressure, Glentoran wrenches away from breaking the deadlock themselves. A great through ball founder Buthnot, whose lob was cleared off the line by Curtis Beattie. The game was starting to open up with the Belfast rivals going toe to toe in search of that all important goal. Opportunities were arriving on a frequent basis at both ends, and Jack McCourt's strike deflected off a Blues teammate Tate. Glens keeper Ben Thompson made an impressive reaction save to keep out the effort. Linfield opened the scoring after half an hour. Eamon Scannell picking up possession before finding Pierce Tate, who in turn found the bottom corner. The Blues pressed for a quick-fire second, McCourt guiding this effort narrowly wide. Glentoran's response was immediate. Marty Quinn's cross was flicked on by Josh Tipping, and Rebothnot got his just rewards for his earlier efforts to make it one apiece. Linfield were determined to re-establish their lead. Sean Green cutting inside and trying his luck with his normally less favoured right foot. The Blues scored with just seven minutes into the second half. They won a free kick 25 yards from goal. A slick move, Nathan Fox with the pass. Eamon Scannell doing the rest. Glentoran as expected refused to accept defeat. Matty Tunna's long throw partially cleared. Jack Henderson hooked a shot narrowly wide. Arbuthnot continued to shine for the Glens as the game neared a close. He found Tunna, whose deep searching cross very nearly resulted in an equaliser for tipping full time though. Glentoran won Linfield 2. Oh, well, I wouldn't so much say disappointed. Um, I think with the boys being at this age now, the significance of, of this match you know, with it being the two biggest clubs in the country and the biggest game in the country, I think the significance of this match um, is coming to the uh, forefront. You know, So it's very hard in a, a derby game to get a balance between trying to play football but trying to get one over your opposition, you know, your, your arch enemy, so to speak. But as a, a game of uh, football, I was happy. Uh, started off really well, but I thought we took the game two games for it. Um, although they had probably two or three great chances in the first half, I thought we had a deserved lead in the first half. And a uh, great goal from Pierce. And I thought the lads played some great football teams. So I was very happy with our first half performance.